Look how badass this table is for doing layout. So you take the big 5 8 bolts and they have the flat side on them. You drop them in the holes and I know the holes are 100% square to the table on every edge. And then put two over here and you make sure that the square side is right there. And then you, you bump them up to the bolts both ways, this way and this way. Perfectly square. And then when you're grinding, it doesn't let it move all over the table too. So I want to thank uh, Yes Welder for the new uh, MIG TIG arc that they sent us. Really nice welder. And it, and it welds nice and strong, you know, lots of uh, penetration and everything. And, it, and it's a nice hot weld. You know, usually the smaller welders like this are really kind of weak and whatever, but this one's really nice. You can tell it's got a lot of power. And it's uh, welding really clean. <clears throat> Trying to figure out the adjustments and all that crap right now. Um, what I'm doing is I'm building a welding cart. So this, this will be the bottom where the wheels go. And then I'll have another section where I'll put the plasma cutter down below and the welder up top so that I'll have the TIG and the MIG and everything, you know, real close to my welding table when I roll it up to the table. And then I also want to thank Evolution Saw. If you guys haven't got one of these, you got to get one of these. These are awesome. Uh, Evolution uh, Tools sent this to us, and uh, that thing kicks ass. It just tears right through this uh, two by four tubing like nothing. And this is just a old flatbed that was on the back of a truck that we had sitting out front, and I cut it off this morning. And I'm using the scrap uh, from the flatbed that was it was all rigged on there. It was stupid. Uh, a young kid did it and just messed it all up. But I'm gonna use all this scrap just so it doesn't get thrown in the scrap metal pile and I'll use that for the uh, welding cart. And I, like I said, I'll put some wheels underneath here and then set it up for the welding cart and I'll probably primer it or paint it or something. We'll see what happens.
Wasn't sure if I turned the camera on. I'm also using that Yes Welder helmet that they sent me. Love this thing. But check out the uh, the welds this damn this welder does. You can't beat that. Really nice welder. And that's the uh, MIG 205 DS. And I'm trying to get the uh, TIG welder set up for it right now, the TIG attachments and everything. I got the pedal and the hoses and all that crap. Um, I got that all set up. Let me, hold on a second. Sorry about the camera work. I'm not a photographer. Fr photographer. Um, <laughs> but uh, the welder itself is awesome. I mean, the way it welds and everything is really nice. I wouldn't use this for sheet metal. Um, unless I put like 23 wire in it, in it, I'd like to try it with that. Right now I have 35 wire, so we'll see what happens um, as far as the big heavy stuff like what I'm doing right now. And, and I've been working on this all morning, uh, plus a bunch of other small projects. We got some cool stuff coming up though in the shop. So I'll kind of keep you guys posted and uh, go from there. I don't know if I'll get this video done today because I want to finish up this. this uh, it's going to be like a welding cart, tool cart, because I want to be able to have all my welding supply stuff right there on the cart itself. So this will pro probably get done tomorrow. And then uh, I have the unibody. I showed you guys the other day. I have the unibody uh, panel all welded in. That's welded in, it's like flawless, turned out really, really nice. And the reason I wanna use the TIG welder um, is I've been wanting to set it up anyways. I have a small patch in the front that needs to be TIG welded in. But what I'll do is I'll use my Eastwood uh, TIG welder for that, and I'll get that all TIG welded in there, get everything ground, get the side of the bed primed, and then we'll start pulling that 57 Chevy in here. And that 57 Chevy is going to be a, it'll be a big project. I got, like right here, uh, the other morning I went through and wrote everything down on the whiteboard, what needs to be done. Um, everything from floors, trunks, you know, bodywork paint, whatever. But that's, it's one of those, those projects where the customer only has so much money with, that they can put into the car. So it's not gonna be so involved like this truck here. Um, we'll still do flawless work, we'll still do perfect work. But the thing is, is I wanna make sure that, uh, you know, we get the body in primer, maybe paint, depending on the budget. But I wanna make sure and get the, uh, the frame painted, get all the new brakes on it, the wheels, tires, rims. Um, we're not going to drop the motor or tranny or nothing like that in the car. We're just going to put the body back on it. And then I'm pretty sure that that's, that's probably about where the car is going to leave here and go back to the customer so that they can put the glass, the interior, the motor and tranny transmission and everything in it. But anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I might as well finish this video up. I'll go ahead and post this tonight. That way I got a video up today, kind of like a vlog or whatever. And then uh, tomorrow I'll show you uh, what's going on in the shop. Appreciate you guys watching. Later.